Did you know there is a hidden built-in administrator account in Windows 10 which is no longer available by default since Windows Vista? And did you know it's a lot more powerful than your local account with administrative rights? And in today's video, I'm going to show you three easy ways to enable it. I'm also going to tell you why you should think about doing this. And just to confuse you or to empower you, I'm also going to tell you why you should probably not bother about it. Let's take it out. <laughs> Hey Nimtags and welcome this is Ash from Hinmine Tech and on this channel I want to help you develop a better relationship with tech so if you're new here consider subscribing click the bell icon to go from newbie to techie and also please consider using my Amazon affiliate links in the description below to help out the channel. Okay in front of us we've got a virtual box this is Windows 10 professional 64 bit version this is not activated all right let me just log in now, most people, when they install Windows, they will have one main account. They may add users in the, the future, but this main account is going to be a local account and an administrator account. Now, this is not the same as the Microsoft account that you use to log in. I tend not to do this because of you know data and privacy concern. I don't advise you guys to do this neither. Local account is fine. Now, let's check. On here, if you go and click the stop menu button, you will get this little user icon. And as you can see right now, there is no other user except for a built in guest one. But next to the icon, we've got virtual. This is the name of the account that I've chosen for this um, Windows account. Okay, so the easiest first way to enable the built in administrator account is to right click on the start button menu and go to computer management and thereon you will find let me just uh, enlarge this you will find local users and groups double click on that and then double click on users and here the top one it says built-in account for administering the computer slash domain and if you right click on it and go to properties by default under the general tab you will see it says password never expires is ticked and account is disabled is ticked now to enable it all you need to do is untick this you can leave everything else by default you can give it another name i prefer to leave it blank which means it's going to be administrator and then click on apply obviously if you want to check uh, other stuff like what is a member of administrators and the profile but you don't need to mess with this okay so once you've clicked on apply click on ok and uh, we can go and check that minimize this now if you go and click on the start button menu you will see that it is now showing us next to the user account there you go the administrator account now from here you can click on this to go log on to the administrator account but it's going to do some initial setup i don't want to do this just yet now let me show you um, what you can do if you want to disable that again you can go back to the um, computer management and then here back again right click on it go to properties and you can click on account is disabled click on apply and it will remove the administrator account okay but I'm not going to do this just yet now while you're here you should also consider right clicking and either you click on set password or you click on all tasks and set password it's the same thing you can also here uh, delete it if you wanted to I do not advise to do this you could also rename it I don't advise to do this generally but let's go and set a password and here is going to tell you some warnings which is fine just click on proceed and uh, new password type in a new password now I cannot advise you whether to use the same password for your local account and the admin account I have started using a different one for the built-in administrator account for my uh, reasons for my setup I used to use the same one but I find that it's a bit difficult to manage different computers so I use two different uh, passwords as up to you now this is set and this is the easiest way now if you want to check that we can go is um, log out of here and as you log out you can see that it has a, an administrator account already there but you can sign out and uh, from then on it's going to give us an option now the next time you want to log back in there you go you've got administrator account and obviously you input your password and you're good to go okay so that was um, strategy number one let's move to method number two I'm going to log back in the normal uh, local account 
and I'm going to go and actually disable this now again uh, right click on the menu and go to computer management and go to local users and groups users and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to disable this and go click apply click OK and that hopefully it should have been gone and if you can if you want to check this and there you go it's gone there's no more administrator account all right now the second way is to do this through a group policy editor so for this press your windows key and r which will bring the run command and here you can type in gpedit.msc okay these things are quite, you know, um, not dangerous, I would say, but critical. So be careful. This is on each tutorial. If you're not confident, don't do this. Now, on your left, under local policy, on the local com computer policy, you'll have computer configuration. Double click on Windows settings, and then double click on security settings, and then double click on local policies, and then double click on security options. And to the right, the first one on top. You have accounts administrator account status disabled you can double click it or right click and click properties and then you will have here by default it's disabled once you click on enabled and click on apply it should bring it back up but this will not have a an administrator password at this stage you can also go to the explain tab to see what the administrator account does okay and if we click on apply it should be okay and you can go and close this and uh, now if you want to go and check that yep it's come back up again all right so we're going to remove this and then we will show you the last method and then we click on apply okay and uh, let's close that now check it again and it should have gone now there you go it's gone okay and the third way to do this is through the command prompt. You can either um, Windows key and R type in CMD and it will pop up the command prompt window or you can also right click and select Windows PowerShell admin which is the more recent and more powerful one. You can use either one, it doesn't matter. Now under C column backslash Windows backslash oh, system32 typing the following command which will be in the description below as well net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon yes press enter this command completed successfully now it should have enabled the administrator account if you want to go check click on your start menu button and check and there you have it it's come back here okay to disable this you can uh, type in the same command except at the end you say no so to bring the last command back up if you haven't exited this uh, window is to press the up arrow key on your keyboard and it will bring the whole command up and you can just backspace and change that to no press enter and now the command completed successfully again you can go check and it would have disabled the administrator account all right so that's the third way but while you're here let me show you how you can also set the password so i'm going to active activate it again click on yes net space user space administrator and then just now you can just put any password you wish i'm going to just put password for argument's sake and pressing enter the password for this administrator account now is now password okay and let's go and check on that we're going to exit this and we're also going to exit this one and let's log out and uh, signing out and now clicking on administrator and uh, you have to put in your password which is in my case password and since this is the first setup it's going to go through its you know windows setting up stuff so while this is doing that let me rejoice you with the story of why you should or shouldn't do this oh i did forget that i actually did this before so it's not doing the whole setup again i'm just enabling it okay
Now, why should you or should you not bother about it? First, why don't bother? Because for most people, if you're a single user, you've got one computer, you're not administering a whole uh, different number of computers on a network, then you do not need to do this. There's not much you can't do with a local user account with administrator rights, okay? However, if you're like me in the recent days, I've uh, had the privilege and pleasure to be in the company of an IT professional and he was teaching how to connect two different computers on the same network using remote desktop connection or remote desktop settings and let me just show you quickly the RDP protocol you know remote desktop protocol you can uh, go in here RDP um, remote desktop first of all if you want to do this um, you need to enable it in the settings by default this will be disabled uh, as such so you have to go into remote desktop settings and enable it okay now what that does allow you to do is to do one of two things one is to do something like a team viewer stuff which means gaining access into the desktop of another computer so for example if I wanted to go um, remote desktop connection if I wanted to go into a computer that I know the IP address of which is here and I can just type in the IP address here in show options you can do that and input their username and then click on connect uh, you should ask a password there you go I will input the password and uh, it's gonna give you some certificate warning that's fine it's just say yes and now I have gained access into a different computer and taken over control of the whole desktop okay um, and you can do this with a standard um, local user with administrator account rights. However, there is something else. And let me just log off of this one. I'm going to uh, disconnect this remote desktop connection. Is it done? Yeah, I think it's done. Um, there's a different way of connecting to a computer without taking over the desktop, but actually accessing the computer's files and folders inside. And uh, this time, um, it's called if you bring it the run command and you type in the same um, IP address except you do double backslash and then the IP address and then backslash C then dollar sign and pressing enter it should ask you for credentials for the user account what tends to happen in this case if you don't access the actual built-in administrator account it will not allow you access into the computer that's what i found the hard way i also found out the hard way when i was trying to share folders uh, between computers on the same network now it will allow me to share both a drive and the folders within that drive however it will not allow me to access the drive <laughs> uh, that i shared on the network but it will only allow me to access folders within that drive i found out the hard way now it's asking me to connect let me give you an example if i connected here with the local account okay which is hematic 3 and then if i input the password of that other computer obviously and i click on okay it will not let me access this however now if i click on more choices Although this account, Hilmatic 3, is an administrator account, it is not the built-in administrator account, but I'm going to now click on a different one, and I'm going to choose administrator, and uh, I'm going to type in the password for the administrator this time, and now clicking on, there you go. I am now accessing, uh, without taking over the desktop environment, I'm accessing inside the computer itself from the built-in administrator account on there. And from there, I can do anything I want, really. So it, it is that powerful. And I found that the hard way. So I'm hoping you guys understand why you should probably consider using this and knowing about it there is a word of caution though because this can be very dangerous if anyone has access to your password with the built-in administrator account they can do a lot of damage including causing you know, security problems and your computer will be unsafe on the other hand uh, i would really advise you if you're thinking about making your computer secure if you're using windows before you even think about you know stupid free antivirus systems you should really consider what's called good administration and this is one of them having the ability to set yourself apart from uh, creating a you know a local user account with administrator password and 
separating the built-in administrator password making them different it will give a lot more security especially if you have to manage more than one computers like in my case so i hope you guys benefited from this if you want a tutorial on how to do remote desktop connections between two computers on the same network and if you want to learn how to share folders and drives on the same network uh, between uh, windows computers and actually i'm also going to do this between linux and windows computers in fact we can also do this with a mac os computer on the same network then let me know these uh, tutorials can come only if you let me know in the comment section below once again thank you so much for watching go ahead and check out these videos wherever they are up here or up here uh, on how to build a computer from scratch and also how to troubleshoot any problem on a computer and i will see you in the next one this was ash from Hilmatech helping you go from newbie to techie like comment subscribe and use my aff amazon affiliate links until next time peace out